Hey, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What is this, YouTube? It's your boys, Megan Pie here. Welcome to Chapter 3. Probably played them deep sleep. Full gameplay in this video, bro. I'm a little sick under the weather. Energy will be down. I would like to apologize without wasting any time, boys. Let us jump into it. Shout out, my demon. Damn, we're starting off with the catnap. Is this from catnap POV? Damn. Are you snorting like like an actual cat? Like <laughs> What? Did he throw us? What? He did. That's right. That's right. He did. What? We are here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Deep Sleep. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I'm really in another like I'm really really sick. But I'm still, you know, out here posting this video, recording this and whatnot. At the same time, am I getting am I getting Okay, time to move. I don't know where to go because it's so dark. I, like in the in, in the editing I will increase the brightness, but believe me, it's dark. Okay, of course, of course. All right, we let's go up and yeah, smooth. Okay, where exactly do we go from here? Oh, oh this game is confusing already. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna make this jump this time around. So, a couple things I want to say. Like, first things first, I will try to post the entire playthrough in one video. I know people are going to take full advantage of that in part one and part two, but, you know, I, whilst I do, you know, probably play them videos on the channel, not a lot of people watch it, so I'm just going to post it in one video. If anybody wants to watch on any portion, they can. At the same time, I'd like to apologize for the energy. Crouch, of course, of course. E to interact. Well, I already did. That's how we opened this door. Yeah, this is okay. This is looking really, really clean. I am playing this in 4K, by the way. Okay, more platforming, I see. Saving. Damn, the red gas already? Already we're on that red gas? Okay. Watch me do this work, boys. Run, tell. Oh! oh my god, I nearly messed up. But it worked out in my favor anyway. I didn't even clock him, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay. See, this is this is gonna be a little problematic going forward because can you can you get in? Thank you. Because already we have this lack of directions and whatnot. Hello. Oh, this way. Okay. And the game is dark, man. I can't see anything. How are you supposed to know you're gonna open that, bro? Come on. Anyways, hey yo, Candy Cat, Mommy Long Legs, what is this? Oh, whoever living here was living here, bro. This place, Lynn. Oh, we got our first tape of the night, ladies and gentlemen. I will be keeping my eye out for all of the tapes in this playthrough. Here we go. All right, Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting asleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips. The way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand and mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too. Something horrible. She... I'm sorry, I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes, a monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh, I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I wanted to talk to her, 
see how she's doing. I, I just I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advised, Miss Harper. There are many concerns we must address at this time. But vital, show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. <laughs> Wow, that got dark real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Why well, did even clog that? Okay, okay. So far, so good. I right, we need two of them here. Yeah, stop that in the trailer. I didn't know if it was gonna do its thing, but it did. Can we? Into it? We cannot. We need one more. Okay. Oh, this is the place where Catnap threw us. Why would he do that anyway? That was weird. What he did then? Can we move this, please? Can we move this? I want to get inside. I want to see what that is. Bro, can we please get look inside? No? Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Place the battery into the... Yes, we already did that. Boop, boop. I'm Bubba Bubba Fint. Hey, I remember you. An elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? Damn. Damn. That is disrespectful. To you I and to, and to me as well. Hey! I remember you! Oh, who is calling? Is that... Is that Scott from Five Nights at Freddy's? <laughs> Damn. The lack of direction is really... But you can, you can catch on real quick. Hello? Hey, hey, can you hear me? You look kind of lost. I don't want you to die, so I'm going to help you. Check this out. Look at the tube thing on the back wall. Ready? Boom! You can use that battery to huh? open the door. Who are you, Poppy? But it says question mark. So clearly you're not Poppy. You don't sound like Poppy. Are you his... Are you her sister? Brother? Cousin? Why would you even get... The, oh. Whoa! Did you do that? I guess that's where Catnap found I didn't. It was Poppy, by the way. I know you're probably mad at Poppy for not letting you escape. But she needs you. We need you. You are our mission. Uh -huh. What happened to the rest of them? Here is his church, his hunting ground, oh. whatever he wants it to be. Oh. You better get moving quickly. We'll keep in touch. Oh, and by the way, my name is Ollie. Oh, hey, Ollie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ollie. Ollie, what do you do? Okay, saving once again. That means some bull is about to begin here. Oh, no. Okay, I'm glad you can open it from the, 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 there's a lot of things I've learned about the game before the release of Chapter 3. Whoa, what is this? What is this, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach? Remember that trailer? We thought we was actually going to use this. <laughs> we did not. Oh, finally a note. That's not a note. Okay, I really like their... I mean, the, the graphics have always been great. Oh, here we go with these puzzles once again. Oh yeah, the puzzles, they're gonna be a headache. Okay, well, time to grind. Ah, I don't know what I did, I just did. Alright, I was doing multiple of them. <laughs> Eventually one of them worked. <laughs> don't ask me what happened. We did it anyway. See the world through the eyes of a child on Elliot's Express. Ch child on? Yo, chill out, chill out. Mob Entertainment, chill out with that. Oh, why did he see you? I'm chicken chicken. Wanna go outside and hang out? 
It's looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Oh. Will you come with me? No thanks. I'm scared. Here, follow me. He's about to get God. He he he's about to get God. Yep. Yeah, you're not kicking anymore, bro. You you got hung outside. Stop. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am kind of missing mommy lung legs a little bit. Her presence was a little bit, you know, a little warming, I should say. It was really really warming, surprisingly. Hello, my name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once. Money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each. But I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. For it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co, I announce Playcare, our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? Thanks, Ollie. Okay. Well, that was a long monologue. Over well, here. Play here. Oh. No thanks. Okay, here we are underneath the statue. Or should I say statues? Get it? Because it's a throwback to the statues game in Chapter 2. I really like the graphics of Puppy Playtime. I think the developers did a phenomenal job there. And the optimization is good so far. You know, I'm playing this in 4K. Well, granted, I I do have a decent PC. All right. Damn. There's nothing in there, Ollie. Oh, my bad, G. My bad, Ollie. I wasn't familiar. Oh. You got the key. Now the question you're probably asking yourself is, where does it go? Well, True. Head back out, and you should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. Oh, thanks, Ollie, for that input. I would assume if Ollie's gonna come in, like, Ollie's gonna play a major role at the end of this. Because clearly, you know, Ollie is, like, like, puppy's friend or something, and they consider, you know, Bron, what are you trying to try? Trying to act like you're OG, Bron? 
you don't stop. But yeah, I believe Ollie might play a major role towards the ending of this game. Damn, this place is kind of lit. Say what I want about Elliot Ludwig. Man had vision. Alright, he knew what's up. Stella and all these people he gathered. People with the vision, by the way. But lit place, alright. Alright, what do we have here? Okay, not gonna lie, I am struggling to commentate, but s stay with me, alright, stay with me. Oh. Not gonna lie to you, these loading screens are kinda necessary. I don't know. A cat B. How you doing? It's been a while. Watch your step. Okay, gas mask. Hopefully, we'll get that soon. Welcome to the gas production zone, the beating heart of the whole evil play care system. All that gas you see coming from the machine is made right here in the factory. It's called the red smoke. Oh. Right now, it's all headed off to the right. We need to make that red smoke go left instead. That's how we can get to him. The machine will probably have a few dumb safeguards for you to work around, but I think you can do it. I'll call you once it's done. Okay, thanks Ollie for... for that. I don't know how much it helped, but... Okay, the lift is not working. Okay, so... No power offline. Oh, what have they done to Candy Cat? Rest in peace, Candy Cat. You remember the days when we thought Brawn, Cat B, Candy Cat would show up in Chapter 2? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Catnap. I want to hear this. Yeah, no. Is this a magnet? Is the magnet on, on, on the blue hand? Oh, well, we're about to get a new hand soon. Hmm, let's find a tape real quick. For the else. Oh, dear, if you don't stop. Okay. Here we go, another tape. Green tape. Let me have that. There we go. Grab pack 2.0, extended wire length. Yes, we need that. It would help tremendously with the speedruns. Swapping hands is easy. Nice. The prototype has air jets. I assume you mean the prototype of the grab pack, not the, <laughs> not the H prototype. To break long falls. Mm. But watch where you land. Oh. Not all ground is safe to touch. Nice, nice, thank you. I believe this is gonna come in handy when speedrunning. Use the grab pack 2.0 with care. What's the time? It is indeed a playtime, thank you. Okay, here we go. Brand new hand. Oh, there's two more over there. I, we know we're gonna get the pew pew gun hand soon. Let's see what this does. I mean, we knew what we, what we was gonna do. We knew that because we saw from the trailer. Imagine how much time I would have been wasting had I not seen the trailer. I've said this before and I'll say it again. I I wasn't excited for this game at all. It was the final trailer that got me in a little bit. But prior to that, I wasn't that much excited for the game. But, you know, after seeing the trailer, I did got excited. And here I am now, playing the game. Oh. Oh, my bad, G. I thought I had that. <laughs> my pichech dumme didn't even see the green hand. Can I make that jump? Barely. Okay, that was not a jump, alright. Let's face it. Game, let's face it. That was not a jump. Apologies. Oh. You see the work that I'm putting? Do you guys see the work that I'm putting in? Bro, I'm telling you, 
I'm using my brain here. Uh, what did I tell you, bro? I told you, bro. I'm not messing around this time. Too easy for your boy. Too easy for your boy. Embarrassingly, it took me a lot longer than... Oh my god, okay. Well, I'll see you guys when I figure this out. Okay, it's gonna be pain. Okay, so I finally figured it out. It has less to do with the touching and more to do with the actual placement of the hands. Yeah, well, when you play it, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, so Ollie said to put it all to the left. Oh, never mind. Of course, I think somebody's coming. We need to be careful. I said like 10,000 things I already forgot. The only thing that stuck with me was home sweet home. And I want to go home. This protagonist. Okay. Alright. Thanks, Ollie. Well, uh oh. Well, time to go home sweet home. There's a lot to do here. Okay, see, personally, I am excited to go in Home Sweet Home because there's a lot that we saw in the trailer that seems exciting enough in this place. And let me guess, as soon as we enter, we're going to see a loading screen. No, we are not going to see a loading screen. Oh, there's no picture there. Uh-oh. Oh. I wasn't about to get in, but then I realized... It was too late, because I was going to go and find the mask, but I believe it was intended for us to go here. Uh, I just noticed we don't have our grab pack anymore, which means... Which means, yeah, it's about to go down here. We saw this in the trailer. It's going to be litty as a piggy. So now we are hallucination, alright? We are into the hallucination, and catnap is around the corner, I think. I hope. I believe. Okay, I'm gonna... Anybody there? Come on, man, don't be silent. Come on, give us something to work with here. It's a little creepy, not gonna lie to you. Oh. Okay. Uh, please refrain from using real kids picture. It's kind of spooky when you add in the real world elements Like actual real pictures would uh, they become they're a lot scary if you use a real picture oh. Tragic news this morning as of 9:45 a.m. Silent Hill authorities report that the body of a young boy has been found on the estate of the late Elliot Ludwig an esteemed toy maker and originator of the Playtime Company. Oh. At this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. Organs as well as key bones from the skeletal structure were reported missing from the body. Oh wow. It is unknown at this time whether this extraction was, in fact, the cause of death. What? Silent Hill? P.T. Silent Hill? Oh my goodness. Recent events, it is P.T. Silent Hill. Was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, It's sickening. Elliot Ludwig was a great man. And those who knew him understood that he was not capable of violence. Let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one. 
making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clearing his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Stay tuned for more. Yep, this is Silent Hill 100%, PT Silent Hill. I'm so glad that developers love that game to be inspired from it. I'm telling you bro, Silent Hill is the best horror of all time, but this is great. Implementing that here? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about Elliot Ludwig and what happened. So we knew the the lengths that he would go to, but on his own state? Now we don't know if his state was here in the Playtime Factory. If it was, it makes sense. If it wasn't, it's far more sick for him to, you know, take kids out to the... I, I think it's on this. I think it's... Yeah, I think it's all in the same. That is scary and spooky. I think it's in the Playtime Factory. Hello? You need to run. Bro, I am trying to run, okay? I'm stuck in here. I don't know where to go, what to do. I'm stuck in this maze. I can't get out of this maze. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, many believe his reclusive and mysterious nature displayed over the previous decades won suspicion to this claim. When questioned, Ludwig's neighbors indicated that he would often return to his home in strange hours of the night and depart again before sunrise. Some believed he was sick. Others that don't move. Don't move an inch. I'm not moving. Playtime Co., it seems, intends to keep all its name within its brand regardless. But it should be moving. a long legal battle will follow. I'm not moving. Okay, this is getting really creepy. Easily the best part of the game so far. Chill out, chill out with them. Demonic stuff. Ludwig clearly didn't pay his neighbors the way he was paying other people in the company. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's here. Catnap is here. Oh, brother. I'm done. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just gonna make a record. I'm not even gonna look back. I'm just gonna look at these paintings, admire them, and I'm not. Okay. This reminds me of Layers of Fear if you ever played it. Fantastic game, by the way. Guilt, guilt haunts you. Damn. Oh yeah, bro. Like I said, bro, Silent Hill it is, and I'm here for it. Hey, yo, mob entertainment, might as well make, oh, might as well make a psychological horror rather than mascot horror. Hey guys, it seems to be doing great in that department anyway. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Is when cat is, when a cat is like resting and doing, and, and, and like this, like, ooh, observing and stalking, they be doing, I know that because I have a cat myself, and I and I listen to her, and she be she be making all kinds of noises. The guilt haunts you. I believe that's his office. Get up. Get up. No thanks. This is a ritual to get catnap up. No. Nope. Get up. Here we go with the crying child. No five knows at Freddy's intended here. But here we go with this crying child. You know we hate that. Kids crying. That's one of the scariest things. Oh no. Oh no. Happy and fun. Why was it done? Okay. Let's find a tape real quick. But before we do that. 
Alright. This place. Oh, there it is. Well then, time to watch it. Thingy thingy. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience Was that us? finally getting the better of you. Is he talking about us? May you descend into the dark and the dust. Finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left. A world that's theirs now. Interesting. Welcome home. What just happened? What just happened? What in the world just happened? Did I mess up? Oh, I got my grab. Oh, no, I messed up. That was the huggy wuggy chase from the trailer. I was supposed to run. Oh, man. Come on. Well, I guess we press on. That was the best portion of the game so far, easily. Easily. Mom and her team, what do they know you could do? What is that, bro? What is that noise? Do you hear this? What was it? Kid long legs? Baby long legs? I'll take that, thank you. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. They're they gonna, they gonna introduce us to how to use this mask. Oh. Breaking Bad. Sorry, I'm sure. Damn, that was loud saw that in the trailer so knew what to do exactly that's uh, spooky okay look at this how are you supposed to know it was right there i've been at here for hours okay not hours but good t 10 to 20 minutes and i didn't know oh come on man are you serious and i didn't know that was there it was hidden pretty well come on man anyways Here we go with some more dumb doo doo stuff. Spooky, scary stuff. Alright, there's a television, which means we gotta find a tape here somewhere. How are you supposed to know it was right there, bro? Come on. I had stumbled upon it by accident. I wanted to check and see what's up. Subject is stable. Designated 1322. Two. Clear neural abnormalities were detected in his recent checkup. Though highly irregular, we've pulled him from the home sweet home just before lights out to perform. What are you doing with my friend? I. What are you doing out of bed? How did you get in here? Is Kevin sick? Why did you take him away? I. I. Yes. Kevin is very sick. Very. 
very sick. But we want to make him better. But he can only get better if we take him to where we can provide proper care and give him proper rest. Well, do you really think he will be okay? I should think so. We're good at what we do, son. We paid attention in school, learned, and got our proper rest when we needed it. Just like you need it now, I should think. Come now. Let's get you on back to bed. Okay. It's been a pleasure meeting you, Joseph. And I promise you, your friend will be all right. When you see him again, he'll have never been better. Yeah, both Joseph and Kevin, they're done for, 100%. Done for. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. Come on, bro. That's spooky, man. I ain't about this life. Also, this this whole of this home sweet home has been a headache. We don't know where to go. I like us. Oh, is that Poppy? Somebody don't like Poppy in here. Huh? What? Excuse me. Are you kissing me? See? Can you not see me? Kissy Missy, what are you doing? Kissy Missy, what are you doing? Let me jump up here a little bit. Let me find a spot so I could jump over to you. Kissy Missy, is that you? Dang, you're so tall and big. Is there a glass here? Because I can't go through. Look at this. Really? Kissy Missy having a human moment? I'm telling you, it's Stella. Kissy Missy is Stella. I'm telling you, bro. Okay, Kissy Missy. She's missing her old self, maybe her friend, maybe one of the kids, I don't know. Why have you returned? What just happened? Is that the sun and moon animatronic from FNAF Security Breach? My bad, G. Okay. Okay. We move. What is that? That's creepy. The Hour of Joy. I heard about this in the trailer. Great, fantastic. Animation department on the mob entertainment is really fire. Man, this this cold weather has got to me really struggling out here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. What is that? Nope. It's a good hiding spot. Ah, and here they all are. Well, of course. They'd never miss this. Look at Mrs. Brooks. Who's going away? Oh, tell us. Shh, 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 shh. This week, Dr. White here has selected our very own Samuel Lee. Oh, now, before he goes, Let's all give Sam one last goodbye, shall we? With me. One, two, three! Goodbye, Sam! Sam is done for. Sam is done for. He is now chosen to be the... Sam. Rest in peace. Damn, man, these puzzles really be... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just glad I'm doing these puzzles, because, man, they're okay, that's spooky. That is spooky. Are we just menacingly standing there, dude? What are you doing? Let me grab that and run. Don't turn around, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to in the right place, because I was, like... Roaming around for like 40 minutes, no calf, trying to find where to go. Ok, 
Okay, I'm just glad, man, I'm going to the right place. This... This has been horrible, honestly. The home sweet home portion. Help. Hide. Imagine if Katna was roaming these hallways and then... Every time she spots you or he spots you, you have to go and hide under one of these beds. Is this Huggy Wuggy's room? It looks like someone who loved Huggy Wuggy. Imagine if just like Kissy Missy, Huggy Wuggy had his own room. Maybe Kissy Missy is not Stella after all. That was the kid. Watch me do this work, boys. Watch me do this work. Watch this. Bro, you you was gonna be like smack. How you how you how you so good at this? I'll tell you how I'm so good at this. Watch this, bro. Watch this. See me, bro. Okay, that's that scared me. That scared me. That has scared me officially. Okay. Catnip, what are you doing? Is that catnip plush? Damn. Okay. That is his face. Dang, I was hitting the wrong side. Okay, Bubba, 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 Bubba Fento, what are you doing up there? Don't act like you, you, you sneaky. You're not. But as I was saying, a good day keeps the monsters away. Two hugs a day is better in every way. Hugging forever. Hugs are non-stop. I'm gonna hug you until you. Hug. No, no, don't do that, Huggy. See, that's creepy. Also, I, I, I do believe that the real Huggy is dead. Because that Huggy that killed us was in the hallucination. So, I do believe the real Huggy died, just like Mommy Longlegs. Hide. Also, I'm excited to see what prototype. But we're gonna learn about prototype in this episode, chapter. Okay, time to do this. I have a question, right? So the gas is only in this room, but it doesn't go out even though the door, even though the door is open. How does that make any sense, bro? But then again, they use Poppy the flower to experiment on these kids. I don't think it's out of the realm of, you know, question. Look at this. How is it only staying in one room? Huh? This, this place took me more than it should have, honestly. <sighs> like, I'm already clogging in an hour of just roaming around doing absolutely nothing. And then almost two hours in home sweet home, bro. Are you serious? I'll of, of course, I'll end the editing. I'm gonna cut it all out, but come on. It does not help the fact that... Anyways. Anyways. Look, man, the main point is, it is done. We move. To the main door, yes, okay. It is saving, which means we did the right thing. If the game was a little bit brighter, I think it would have helped in the... Oh my god, here we go with another with one of those puzzles. But hey, we've learned it shouldn't take us long. Okay, this should work now. Okay, we're gonna hold that. Gonna do this. Oh, brother. That took me way too long to do it. It really was not difficult. It really was not difficult. But it took me 40 minutes to, to get to that. It really was not difficult, bro. Anyways, it is done, bro. We move. Like I said, it frustrates. I guess it's taking a long time, but I'm just glad that we're doing it. But do you think this smoke is gonna stop me, bro? Please. I inhale red gas for fun. Yeah, you think this white smoke is gonna mess with my head? Of course not. I'm getting flashbacks of Mommy Long like Chase because it was something like that. <laughs> oh. Okay, so let's hit this button. See what happens. Oh, uh, can we move, please? I nearly just got pancaked underneath that. Can I get in? I cannot. Okay. Do I need to press this button? I do not need to press this button. Okay, okay. See, this is what I don't understand, right? Like, a lot of... Sometimes it becomes, like... 
What is this? Okay, it is closed. Is that I just got confused? Oh wait, no, I'm on the third floor of the same house. Oh, that makes sense. Wait, no. Wait, I'm e oh, exiting the place. I'm so dumb. What? What? No, no! Let go! Huh? They didn't do anything wrong. Huh? We're actually here to help. What's happening here? What's going on? This place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this. Let me get this straight, Poppy. He's the reason we found you at all. Let me get this straight, Poppy. She didn't get me when I was invading her privacy in her own room. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. But now, you've been through so much. When I leave the place, you deserve an explanation. All of a sudden, she is she is aggressive and onto me. That shizzle makes no sense, Poppy. Kissy, missy, what are you doing? We'll be oh. okay. We'll be okay. That is cute. Okay. Alright, alright. Why would you do that? That is, she didn't even... <laughs> Bro, Kissy Missy moved Poppy to the to the closing of the panel. She didn't even close Listen, the panel. <laughs> I'm not your enemy. But I can't just let you leave. Sure, Poppy, sure. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. You try to kill me. I need you. You try to kill me on the train. Get revenge on those monsters who tortured you. You tortured us. Okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. You got me, you got me with that. Didn't act alone. You got me, you got me with that. Disciples of the original. The prototype. Oh. Um, what? Do the honors? Do the honors of what exactly? What just happened, bro? Why am I inside Kissy Missy Pools? Oh. You tired? You good? Well, this game is weird. Hit this button. Oh. Okay. The prototype knows we're coming oh. by now. You try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. He abused you. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. Interesting. We can't stay here. Interesting. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Speaking of which, who is Ollie, by the way? That's it? You don't wanna? Okay, cool. Uh, good talk, good talk. Sometimes they be so vague. They're so vague with how they be saying things. Find the thing from the porch of the home sweet home and plug it underneath the statue. Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? No. Well, that was a backup generator for just that building. And every building should have one. Now you've just taken Home Sweet Home's backup power and routed it here. We're already halfway done. Hmm. But where to go next? Everywhere is pretty dangerous around here. That playhouse especially. Yuck. So, your best bet is probably the school. Catnap usually leaves that place alone. Sending you the key now. So, Ollie said... 
catnap leaves that place alone, which means there's somebody who even catnap doesn't want to mess with. Hmm. Let me guess a loading screen. What did I tell you, bro? I, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. After playing this for like, what, 10 hours? Okay, not 10 hours, like more like two and a half hours. I'm telling you, bro. I'm out here. Okay, make this quick. Turn on the generator, beep, and plug the school's power cord into the center. Be careful in there. I don't think I can connect to you on that side of the dome. And you won't be alone. There's someone else in there, too. I think what Ollie was meant to say, they're not your friend, I think? Or maybe someone like you, they're not your usual kind of... This is Miss Delight speaking. Uh -huh. Please excuse the interruption. Uh -huh. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. What is this, Baldi's Basics? No going in the hallway, huh? What is this, Baldi's Basics? Miss Betty, if you do, what's her name, Miss Betty? Miss Betty, if you don't start trying to act like Baldy, Baldy's ten times better than you. I need to chill, okay? I need to chill. Where's that green thing? Thank you. Okay, is that the teacher we saw twitching in the trailer? Oh no. Hello? I'm a little on edge, not gonna lie, because I don't know what to expect, you know? It's one of those things where. I don't know what to do. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Okay, Miss Betty. I'm gonna turn the other way. Or not. Where did she go? Did you teleport? No, okay. We heard the shutter going down. Okay. They're like, that's weird. Also, where was she coming from? Okay, I don't want to make noise, but I kind of have to run. Wait, I recognize you. You do? Yes, I remember. You used to work here. Oh. How are you? So they all know. Alive. What is that supposed to mean? Huh? Barb? Huh? Oh. Who's Barb? Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. I don't, I'm not, I'm not. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own I've been trying to tell this protagonist to leave. Also, I'm here for my co-workers, not even my daughter. Protagonist, if you don't stop and leave. Oh, brother. Every time you mess up or you feel lost in puppy playtime, just look up. Just look up. Where exactly am I supposed to go? Huh? Oh, this game is confusing, bro. Yeah, but every time you seem like you're, you you don't know where to go, you're, you're lost, just look up or look down. You'll find a way. Okay, let's grab this. And, uh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Both are green. I believe we're gonna... Yes. Okay. And that's gonna open the gate for us where Miss Betty is. Also time to find a tape real quick. Is she talking to Barb? Probably because he knew I'd kill him all. <laughs> huh? Oh, 
Okay, dude, we need to leave this place. If I had seen that, I would find the nearest window and jump. Oh, no. Okay, see, this is where I run the other way, but... This protagonist be dumb. I mean, technically, he does have Huggy Wuggy Mommy Long Legs under, under, you know, under killed under his belt, so... I guess the confidence is through the roof, I guess, I don't know. A note, finally, bro, finally, it took me like 10 years, okay, here we go. The pit in me howls for food, I can't think about anything other than how hungry I am, hardly have the strength now to pick myself off the floor. Barb speaks to me though, she gives me strength, I found that if I stand still completely still everything thinks I'm dead. Barb says I need to eat, and that other teachers would never see me coming. Anything to stop the howling. Okay, so she eats kids. And she is with Barb. Okay. Cool, Miss Betty, cool. Oh. I'm not a good listener, are you? <laughs> you're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. I have a question, Miss Betty. Do you just eat children or do you eat adults too? I guess we're gonna find out if she eats a uh, samurai. <laughs> it's interesting because she's like a toy, but not a toy. We don't know if she's a toy, but her 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 model looked like a toy from that room that we saw her outside of. Well, I guess I don't have to wait. Oh, there she goes. Okay. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the states in your ear. Still, damage it and you risk losing your hearing. Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. What is that supposed to mean? Hello, students. Oh, another note. Let's go, bro. I'm sorry I had to eat. I had to survive. Damn. Damn, she be confessing and all that. Okay, the good old traditional. Traditional puzzle. I'm here for it. Oh. oh god, here we go. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Yuck, what was that? She looks like a melt. This research must stay buried. Nobody may leave. Okay, here we go. I need to learn the pattern real quick. Okay, so she has a very strange movement. Okay, make a run for it. Oh gosh, she is quick too. Grab that. It does not close. Oh my god, come on. It did. Let's go. You got stuck, Bill. What are you gonna do? Huh? You can't do nothing. I have cracked the code, ladies and gentlemen. Just. Get her stuck in one of those cages. She doesn't know what hit her. How does that even possible, bro? She teleported. She teleported out of the cage that I locked her in. And I don't know where I'm going. This is the end of the roll as we know it. Well, maybe take this. Miss Betty. Oh, she threw that back at me. A juke move. Okay. So I've been struggling here a little bit. But now I know what to do exactly. Right. There's no point in trying to play with the AI. Just make a run for it. You can, like, get some distance if you are quick. I know exactly where you're going. Right, watch me do this work, boys. Watch me do this work. I get a little nervous in, in these situations. 
Thank you, the door opens the other way. Alright. Why is this, bro? Bro, your boy is too clean, personally speaking. Look at how much distance I've got. Look at how much distance I've got, bro. You might win a smack. How you how you how you so clean in this? Yeah. Well what you don't see is like 40, 30 minutes of me dying. Trying to figure out this is this game is all about trial and error. Alright. Oh, oh come on, wrong place. Okay, now I'm lost. I don't know what to do. <laughs> now I do not know what to do. I'm lost. I guess I did it because he's not chasing me anymore. Are you serious? <sighs> okay. I get it, I get it now, I get it now. Okay, you open that and grab that one, okay. Let's see what they're trying to do here. I'm gonna grab it all the way from here, bro. I think I'm gonna risk myself going in there, getting stuck. No thank you, sir. Oh my god, okay. That's one down. That's two down. And we're gonna use this. Am I dumb? Why am I throwing blue hand over there? Alright, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna do this. Too easy for your boy. Personally speaking, too easy for your boy. There you go. Bro, I'm telling you, get me out of here, coach. Is she chasing me? She was nowhere to be seen. Oh, she's chasing me. Okay, I'm a dead end. I'm a dead end. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't start me all the way from beginning. That was a long chase. I had to have a headache one. Okay, so for some reason, she's stuck in there. And I just figured out that I had gotten lucky last time. She stopped chasing me halfway through the chase, but now she's chasing me. So I am freaked. Well done, me. And she stopped chasing me? What? How? How did she end up in there? How? She was sliding, bro. She slid to her death. She was smart. She was smart, but get wrecked, you dumb bill. Bro, don't ask. Oh, a letter. Let's go. Okay. The door opened today, and I heard something enter my hall. Together, Barb and I found Catnap waiting all this time. All this agony. It is he who locked the door. I know it. I wanted to kill him, but... Knew better than to believe I could. He seemed oddly glad I was all that remained. We made a deal. We take care of each other now. Report what we see to the other and to him. Wow, that's why Catnap doesn't mess around with the school because this is, he's like, this is your territory. Oh, I wanted to hear what he had to say, but okay. That felt good, not gonna lie to you. That defeating her was good. That felt real satisfying. Alright, let's go. Wanna try hopping to the moon with me? Let's sure. All three with me. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> didn't get very far. Yeah, I didn't even move from my chair, yeah. Again. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Still didn't make it. Yeah. Well eventually we'll get there. Listen, oh. this won't stop until we make it to the moon. 
Okay, let's go then. One, two. No, oh, no, don't look at your feet. None of that matters. Again. Okay, again. okay. Listen, hoppy, happy yeah. hopscotch. Yep. Yeah. Hop, hoppy hopscotch jumped. <gasps> Finally. Let's go, boys. Also, Hoppy Hopscotch jumped to her to his death. <laughs> he went to the moon. His soul went to the moon. His body didn't, which is why he was saying, "Don't look at your feet, because it doesn't matter." That's conveniently placed there. Apologies once again. Really cannot contain this cough and whatnot. Anyways, we gotta find this tape real quick. Okay. Conveniently placed right there. I'm glad the game is uh, forgiving in that regard. We don't have to, like, backtrack for these tapes. So, thank you. You stupid, clunky elevator. What was that, Richie? Nothing, nothing. Let's just get this shipment dropped and go. I take it you're not a fan of this place, are you? Nope. Never liked the feel of it. I mean, don't you think these kids deserve some real sunlight instead of floodlights and painted skies? Hell, we're not even allowed to talk to these kids. Isn't that... <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, Stu. Sorry? <laughs> that doesn't sound like the rich I know. Well, trying to stop being so pissed off all the time. My wife says I'm a lovely man, but I gotta control my temper. So, I'm doing it for her. <laughs> You're just different, Rich. Honest to a fault. But uh, I always liked that about you. Yeah? <laughs> well, you're one of the few. Uh, you know, Richie, with my retirement coming up, uh, they've been pushing hard for me to choose my replacement. I'm thinking about giving the role to you. What the hell? Really? Huh? Really? Nothing official yet. But I think there's a decent guy beneath all that crap. An honest, hardworking man. You prove me right. I said your chances are pretty good. Wow, I, uh, geez, I don't know what to say. I, I'm just glad to see not everyone in this place has it out for me. Not everybody, Rich. Not everybody. Okay, so we're getting some lore of playtime coup. Okay. That's how Elliot became the thingy. Bro, look at me go, bro. Don't ask me how long it took me, but... Oh. Uh, uh, I think I was supposed to be there, yeah. Okay, well. It's not all happy and yabby, but it's not all doom and gloom. Let me make my way up there real quick. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a hang of these puzzles, not gonna lie to you. Like, I am... These puzzles have become a little easier now, since I understood the basics. Okay, let's get to the to the thingy. Pull it and watch the magic happens. Nice. It is really smooth and satisfying, not gonna lie to you. Playing this in 4K by the way, only 4K monitor. 60 F plus. Yes sir. Count me in. Oh. What happened? What happened? Why the music like this? What? I nearly missed that. Catnap, what are you doing? Why is he standing in a T-pose? Don't jump scare me just because I high fived your back of the head. Is he... All he did say that this is his church? Is he praying to the prototype? Or a shrine of a prototype? Or a statue of a prototype? That shit doesn't look like a prototype. It looks like 
anything. It looks like my shizzle's prototype when I, when I go to the poo. Okay, that was so corny and so lame. It was not funny at all. Look. Allow me. That is crazy. I nearly missed that. This is what we saw in the trailer, by the way. Kind of, what do you do? What do you even say when you pray to him? Bro, that's some... Bro, if you don't stop... I did all that. I did all that. Okay. But yeah. Um, hopefully we get to see K K Prototype in here. He's been built up all this time. It would be... To be a missed opportunity if you don't get to at least speak to him or at least see him face to face. He's been keeping an eye out on us. He's seen us. He's seen what we are capable of. Why can't we see him for once, you know? Also, boys, I am getting a little tired. So. Oh, you're so cute. You're cute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't make a joke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you coming? What was that? That was the f that was the joy of creation of FNAF ad jump scare, bro. I won't wait for you. Get up. What was that FNAF ad jump scare, bro? Hey, I'm Bobby Bearhug. Wanna know how much I love you? Get juked. I was trying to pet this little creature. Oh, I just remembered. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. I've already wasted one. Where did he even go? Anyways, let me hear what- I love you to the moon and back! I'm crazy about you. I'm lost without you. I've been lost a long time. Please, take me with you this time. You won't leave me, will you? Hi, I'm Bobby Bearhug. I nearly missed this tape. You know how I crazy Bobby Bearhug is crazy about us. We're crazy about these tapes. Okay, this is catnap. Uh, experiment number one one eight eight. What's his real name again? Ah, okay. <clears throat> hey, uh, Theo. How you doing, bud? Normally, I'd have Doctor Sawyer do this, but he's uh out. Let's say. So you got me until they find his replacement. First off, congrats. This is officially your fourth year in your new body. And you've made some real progress, pal. I was told that when you and the other smiling critters, you know, dog day, picky picky, yada yada yada, were added into play care, that you weren't really getting along too well with the kids like everybody else was. But look at you now. The kids love you. And that red smoke, I mean, that's fantastic, isn't it? Is his, uh, voice thingy still broken? The will save us. Theo, nobody's gonna save you. This prison is where you belong. We'll let you out here and there to go see the kids in play care, but your home is here. And as for the prototype, his home is in the labs. This is your life now. Get used to it. Okay, so Catnap is kid. The, the the kid that turned into Catnap was a Theo. Okay, and even before he turned into Catnap monster, he was all with Prototype. That's interesting. That's some fascinating lore stuff right there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been getting a lot of. Okay, there we go. Can you chill out? Thank you. What? Are there more? Are you serious with me right now, bro? Is that dog day? Okay, I'm glad that it builds up. You don't just have five shots. It builds up, it charges up. Okay, so that's cool. So these smiling critters, they stay here. Look at all the home that they made, okay? Because it's dark and whatnot. They're afraid of light. Okay, that actually, that is actually a little scary. Bro, look at this, bro. They gang up with you so fast. Don't add that, uh, oh, puppy jumps sound effect. No, don't do that. Trying to make me feel bad about shooting them? Well, get out of here. I'm not gonna feel bad. 
My life is on the line, but these suckers will kill me if I don't shoot at them. I wish I could shoot them and kill them. Yes, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad about killing them. I would kill them. If I, if I could, I would. You know I would. I wouldn't even hesitate. I wouldn't even think twice, bro. I would just do it. That's right. Being in Poi Playtime Universe has changed me a little. Okay, I'm getting scared now. Okay, that's, that's a little scary. Oh, no, I'm running. I've... Okay, or make a run for it, bro. Make a run for it. No, 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 no. Bro, if you don't move. I've been here for two hours. Okay, I'm kidding. I've been here for over 40 minutes now. And I couldn't realize that you have to throw those boxes on the buttons. And only then it'll work. Because I was... What now? Oh. See, this is what I was speaking about earlier. I was trying to time this thing. I was trying to time it, alright? I was jumping on it and then making a run for it. But now I realized... You just have to put the boxes on it. I wasted 40 minutes on this. Because I didn't know the layout of the thing. Also, I'm so dumb I did jump over. I didn't know the layout of the thing. And it is so dark. Smiling creatures all over the place. Okay, just make a run for it, bro. No. Like I said, as I've been saying, I'd rather just... I'm just happy that I've done it. Even though it was frustrating to do it for, like... Because it was literally time wasted. And we don't like time wasted, okay? Alright, so... It's been like, what, three hours that I've been playing this? Over three hours now? After this, I'm gonna call it a day. And then we'll come back. But you don't worry, you're gonna see that in like one video the entire chapter, yes. One video the entire chapter, bro. Gonna come back to that in just a second, I just wanna see what's going on here. What? You're about this angel. Dog day. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird cat absolute angel. There, honey. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. Fill what feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run. Yo. Is he alive? I thought I killed him. Okay, yeah, no thanks, bro, no thanks. Yep. I bowed to the prototype. Isn't he wonderful? Yeah, but that's my cue, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in a few hours. Uh, this has been crazy, bro. I've been playing this over three hours, what? Yep. Uh-oh, make a run for it, boys. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, make a run for it, just don't look back. Just don't look back, just don't look back. Whatever you do, do not look back. Kinda wanna look back. Okay, I'm not gonna look back. Oh my god. Okay, he is not affected by that. Okay. He is not affected by that. I thought he was one of the smiling critters. Since smiling critters ate him, I thought, you know. But apparently. <laughs> oh my god, bro, come on. Dog Day caught up to me. Dog Day caught up to me, ladies and gentlemen. Catnam is coming, sucker. Dog Day is coming. Chill out. Bro, they're still jump scaring me. Bro, it's a death screen. I'm already dead. They're jump scaring me. What's going on here? Left. Take a left. Okay. So it was right. I did have to take a left. 
All right, let's go. Oh, brother, that took forever. I'm just still gonna run because the music is still going. Nope. Get wreck your piece of shit. Oh, brother. I am sure that we're gonna have some, like, trophies hidden somewhere, but I do not care. I don't think this game has trophies. So they says, fetch! Go, go! As far as you can! Why are you just standing there? Ah, uh, because it's a uh, thingy thingy. You can't be here. You're right, you're right. You can't stay. You're right, you're right. My bad, G. Damn. Damn. Okay, blue. That is that is easily one of the biggest screams of this game so far. All the characters had screams prior to this. Finally, bro. No. Well, so far so good. I'm really glad you're okay. Are you? I don't want to lose any more friends to this place. We're not friends, buddy. Hey, did you see the shrine? What shrine? Catnap made it for the oh yes, I did. I did. See, before Catnap turned into Catnap, mm -hmm. I guess there was some pretty serious cool. accident. Damn. Yeah, quote unquote freedom. Giving up his own freedom in the process. Quote unquote freedom. Size, the prototype is a superhero mm. and has saved this place. Sure, buddy. So Catnap treats him like a god, killing everyone that opposes him. Oh. Us included, if we're not careful. So, ca so prototype him. Did it scare you? If you thought that was terrifying, just wait until you see the real thing. Uh oh. Anyways, okay. I sent you a new key. I should have gotten there. going to the counselor's office instead. It's not ideal, but it should have enough juice. Okay. If you can get that generator going and plug it in, I think we'll be done. And keep your eyes open for catnap. Every shadow and every flickering light is a hiding spot. He always stalks his prey first. He'll take away anything you have to defend. Alright, thanks, Ollie. So, here's the thing, right? It was very interesting. I talked about this before as well, but Catnap is like the last, the last monster before we meet Prototype. I am more than sure we'll meet Prototype, like, well, at least see the Prototype here. The Ollie said that he's the last before we meet Prototype, so I'm assuming maybe there are only five, four chapters? I don't think so. No. Oh, I didn't even see that. Okay. See? This game needs light, bro. I don't care about anything other than tapes. 8895. What is that? What is that? Wrong. Move. Move. Emergency alert. There we go. Hmm. Is this the VHS tape we've seen before? Let's see. Eight eight nineteen. The following message is for all Playtime Company employees. Mm. At eleven o one a.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay. an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Okay. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. Okay. If no exit path is available. Seek shelter in a hidden location. You got a coach. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body. Oh. And remain silent. Uh. Do not look through any windows. Uh. Do not open doors for any individuals. Uh. Do not make eye contact. Uh-uh. With any individuals, yes, for sure. Sure, buddy, sure. It opens the door now. Open the doors now. The hour of joy has arrived. Uh-oh. Don't do that. This this is where the suckers quickly made that tape and it quickly announced it to everyone. I still think that the Huggy Wuggy part, the Miss Betty school part was my favorite. Home Sweet Home was headache, but that PT Silent Hill made it worth it. But you guys know that I'm actually reaching five hours of this for this playthrough. That's how bad I am with the puzzles and everything. The fact that this machine is still working. You know, I would love to work here, not gonna lie to you. Oh my god. 
Maria Ashoken, head of school. Bunzo buddy? Bunzo buddy, no, what have they done to you, Catnap? Bro, take it, bro. Okay, I'm glad it's locked, bro. I don't want to be here. Catnap has been a little disappointing this game, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh. Help. Is it that what we saw in the trailer before? Yes, we did saw that trailer. Who is this? Head of Toy Store. Hmm. Makes sense. Oh, you you were making money. Yeah. If I learn anything in this game, is always look down and look. Oh my God! Are you serious? Are you serious? If you don't know what's going on, you always look down. Or look up. Okay, if you hadn't made that, I would have been very upset. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of smart for me personally. It is saving. Here we go. Okay, Stella, finally. Here we go, y'all. Waited so long for her. <coughs> Oh, no wonder she was so happy and yappy. This office is lit. Okay, so the theories are going around that this is the OG gang. Like Five Nights at Freddy's OG gang. What is this, Hardman and City? Boxy Boo was just added for no reason. Oh. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Hartman. Come on in. Please, have a seat. How was your ride down? It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was... Well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know. You're never going to leave. Kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yes, and we would like to adopt. Ah, amazing! You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? <laughs> what kind yeah, of Yeah, what are you talking about, Stella? Stella, what are you talking about? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... Testing. <laughs> what does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graver, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry. No, did Stella mess up and that was her punishment to be turned into Kissy Missy? No, she messed up. One of the parents found out that they were testing on these kids. Stella, why would you why would you open and reveal secrets like that? Stella, what is wrong with you? Why would Stella say openly to the parents who came here to adopt from the orphanage whilst you're running orphanage that hey testing. Are you crazy? Mm. Oh my god. This is so stupid, man. Every time I say whenever you're stuck, just look up or down. And I always forget that. First of all, light this place up, bro. Uh. Hi, I'm Crafty Corn. Hmm. Can you help me with my painting? No, no. No, can you give me some red? No. More red, please. Here you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Crafty Corn didn't deserve that. As you know, the game is starting. Well, where is this? Okay. I was quick to get this, you know. Come on, come on, come on. Actually, we need to go this way. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be a headache. But, we've learned a lot. Okay. That's right. Okay. Well then. These puzzles are headache. So that matters. This thing like went hour to bro. Oh, can you stop? Okay, 
Thank you. Let me open this to make my way. Oh. I knew it, bro. I side coming from a mile. Oh. No, no, no. What are you doing? You wanna die? Uh oh. Well, all of a sudden you don't wanna hold it? Okay. Okay. Okay, chill out, man. Chill out. We don't have our mask on. Okay. That was a good one. That was a good one. Catnap, you finally showed up? Catnap finally showed up. Wait, what? I'm like, dude, what? Oh, this shit's a laggy? <laughs> oh, let me... Oh, no! Okay. Do you have any idea what you're doing? No. We just got here. Like, we just entered the place. Uh, chapter 1, how are we doing? Okay, I cannot move, by the way. If anybody's wondering, like, why you're not moving? Because I can't. I can only look around. Is that me? Happened here? Is that me? That's not me, bro. <clears throat> that shizzle scary? If I if I live here as a kid and I see this, bro, I'm not coming out of my room. Unless I'm told to, of course. Do you know who we once were? Yeah, normal kids. Miss Betty over there. Your level was fire. I still remember that fondly. <laughs> Probably the highlight of the chapter so far, other than the Huggy Wuggy chapter section. Home Sweet Home was a headache. Can you see why we have to end this? Damn. This is crazy. Poppy, but why are you in my head talking about some? No, I don't have my mask, so I don't know what's real. The fact that you can't die from the red gas is kind of horrific. Which is why these creatures would rather die. Oh. Huggy Wuggy, what are you doing, bro? No, you don't. Huggy, what are you doing? Is this the hour of joy? I think that's the hour of joy. Prototype! He's finally here. By the way, the whole section was so laggy. Like, my, I'm playing the game in 4K and I didn't have an issue. I didn't had an issue until now. As you can see, it's so smooth. So that, that section is the only one. Damn. You feel like that? Protagonist, I, I believe you heard what Catnap had to say. That was fire. Those sections are the ones we need the most. Hopefully it's Ollie and not Catnap. What does it say here? Something's gone wrong. Grab the cord from the counselor's office and plug it in underneath the statue. We yeah. need to reach 100%. Good luck. What do you mean we need to reach 100%? Yeah. Okay. I think I know where gas production is. It's been a good chunk of them out there. I have a feeling we're getting close to the end. Because like I've been playing this for five hours. There you go. Are we ready boys? What? Excuse me, but what the hell? What am I Bro you can't just throw me in like that? Let's have to do a boss fight on my own. I didn't even get to put that... I didn't get to put the blue bed. You don't get to die yet. Get up. Yeah, let's go. Okay. 
bro. Make a run for it. Drop this here, bro. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, I messed up. Oh, I messed up. Wee, what is that? Yuck, that is disgusting. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to come back down for that blue battery, I'm sure of it. Okay. Okay, my heart is all racing a little bit. Oh my god. Why is this area open? Okay. Ah, oh, catnap is coming, be ready. Uh, there's gonna be t it's gonna take a lot of tries. What does this do? Okay. Ah. Wait, is that the smoke that we used to? What is this? Five minutes at Freddy's? Okay, boys. There we go. Which way? Okay, which way is he coming, though? Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. This is a very small portion, man. Wait. Um. Wait. Wait, what? This was not supposed to happen. I got lucky. I got lucky. Please insert a new battery. I got lucky. 130 minutes, seconds, I mean. Bro, I am sweating like a mofo. Alright. All right. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Did I have to hold it? Okay. Alright. Okay, so far so good. Alright, so far so good. Alright, is there a new battery? I'm out of batteries, uh oh. Okay, give me this. Actually, I don't need this one. I could just use from one of the other ones. Oh my god. I'm done. Okay, but we're getting the hang of it now. Come on, just one minute. I need to survive one minute, bro. How hard can it be? How hard can it be? One minute. Okay, actually, she. I'm done. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, hear me out, right? Hear me out. Six seconds left. Two hours later, six seconds left. I just took care of one Becher on the right. But here we go, let's see what happened. Six seconds left, here we go. Two seconds left. No! 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 No!
game. Literally the next attempt. Literally the next attempt. It was a smooth run. And this is what's happening. Literally. Get wrecked. Yes. Yes. He's not Oh, shizzle pizzle drizzle. Shizzle pizzle drizzle. This is what he this is what he prays. Look at him. Prototype was like, you disappointed me. That was a disappointing kill. It seems like I have to make a run for it. So I'm just gonna make a run for it. Actually, before we do that, what we need to do? Do we do anything? Alright. Are you kidding me? Why on earth was I wasting time walking around for nothing? There's a big button right here, bro. <sighs> if there's one big major complaint that I have this entire game is the lack of direction. I'm not gonna say hold my hand, but at least make the game a little bit brighter. Because I don't know what the flip-flop was that. So, let's recap, ladies and gentlemen. Catnap died by the hands. That's the, that's the second character killed by prototype. Well, not killed by prototype. No, okay. Wait, do we need? No, we don't. No, we don't. Actually, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. That one was for the elevator. This one is for the computer. Okay, here we go. Prototype, prototype, prototype. Okay. So, Ollie said we need to push all the things over there. The gas all on the left. And... I assume that's where we need to go. Yay! Okay. I kind of don't want this to end. I'm gonna be honest with you. I also I haven't been here. Good, you're here. Where are you? And you've done it again, the impossible. Where are you? Just like I knew you would. Exactly. Where are you? Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place. Poppy, it's where are you? Me. I'll take the credit, but where are you? Keep going, then. Deserve to have the truth. I agree, but where are you? Came back because of your co-workers. <gasps> there I am. You want to know what happened? Yes, I do. And why? Yes, I do. This. <gasps> this is your answer. Let me have that. Let me have that. Poppy, give me that. Tower of joy. Poppy, if you don't give me that, I'm gonna smoke you. Poppy, look at your hair is on fire. Oh, my bad, G. My bad, G. My bad, Poppy. You're on fire. Oh, oh. shh. Oh hell nah, bro. The real people, I uh, no. Huggy made a move. Huggy saw his opportunity and made a move, bro. This is on the main, main hallway, game station. Mommy Long Legs went crazy. Mommy Long Legs was like, freak this. So they are coordinated. Who else is there? That's still Mommy Long Legs. Okay. So Huggy, Mommy, all these characters, they waited for their chance. Is that Miss Betty or a bunch of them? Yeah, he's done for. He's done for. He's not gonna make it, bro. Kissy Missy. Oh, shizzle, pizzle, drizzle, and nizzle, dude. Who's that? Boxy Boo! They're trying to push him so hard. Nobody likes Boxy Boo. I'm kidding. I do like Boxy Boo. Is that Catnap? That is Catnap. True, true, true. I'm sad what happened with Dog Day. Damn, look at them bodies. Okay, everything has come full circle. I think Chapter 3 has nicely wrapped up the entire story of Poppy Playdom so far. Like, some, a lot of questions have been answered. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, sure, they're like, there are some extra questions that we have, but like a lot of questions have been answered. Hey guys, editing smack here. Um, I we missed this final VHS where we are talking to Prototype. It is really chilling. Check it out. Log code two four four five nine. In relation, experiment one zero zero six. The Prototype. Stubborn as he is, 
and always silent with each passing session, I'm still uncovering fresh data nonetheless. Today's discovery... Hmm. End of log. Hmm. Ready to talk now, are you? I possess... A question. Go ahead. Do you feel anything? <sighs> this question referred to what exactly? You stick us. Beat us. Tear at flesh. Do you feel it? But there is a secret inside you, 1006. Valuable beyond all measure. I cut and prod and burn at it. And I get closer with each session. So speak. Or don't. Fight. Or give in. Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. <laughs> it excites me. Thank you. You... Thank me? Absolutely. I learn something new about you every day. So as you can hear, wow, that was creepy. That was chilly. I missed that because, you know, I was so overwhelmed with everything. But TLDR, yeah, prototype is no joke. He's like mixed matched of everything that we've just faced. And yeah, there will be more theory videos on that. But let's get back to the outro of the video. Okay. I remember hearing every moment of it. Hmm. It went on so long. Hmm. So agonizingly long. Damn. Where were you? They tried to hide. To run. Damn. Anything to stay alive. She's sympathizing with the humans. I remember their cries. She's sympathizing with the humans. What's going on? Why is this happening? Damn. What? Those things. You're one of them, Bobby. You know that, right? Senseless slaughter. Damn. That's all it really was. It was. They killed everyone. Yeah, but they're your friends, don't the guilty, you think? The innocent didn't matter. Mm. All of that death didn't fix anything. Message. And then, once it was all over, preach. They dragged those corpses down below where oh, they'd they never did. be found. Damn. And they ate the bodies oh. to stay alive. Oh, uh, somebody's coming. Oh, it's Kissy Missy. Prototype has to die for this. Damn. For everything. So, isn't Kissy Missy. Wasn't Kissy Missy part of that, Poppy? Man, you're so tall. I mean, I knew you was, you was gonna be tall, but damn, you were tall, tall. Alright, let me make my way from here. Kissy Missy, you're not coming. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? You're on fire, Kissy Missy. After you. Okay, Poppy, let me look at you. Hold on. Hold on, Poppy. Let me... You're on fire. Your hair is on fire. You're gonna die. Oh. Damn. So Kissy right. Missy also does. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. Okay. There's something. What? What's she doing? Kissy Missy's dead. No! No! Shh, shh. He's gonna hear us. I'm coming! Just hold on! No, don't go back up. No. Oh, come on, go faster! She's he, she's dead, alright. Kissy's dead, bro. Kissy's dead. They got our girl, Kissy. Wait, what? You can't do that for over two years. Zach CEO, Seth CCO, you can't do that. Isaac Isaac, what are you cooking, Isaac? Isaac <sighs> Okay. That was Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. So let me let me wrap this up real quick. I wanna go back to when we saw Kissy Missy looking uh, in, in one of the home sweet home rooms where she was looking at this picture. If we were to go with the theory that Stella is Kissy Missy, it would make sense, right? It would make sense for her to be on this side. Whereas the other characters and creatures like Catnap or Smiling Critters or Bunzo, but all these are the kids that were experimented on 
they want to you know shed blood and and it makes sense for some of these characters to want to stop prototype specifically now if you were to assume that prototype is elliot ludwig which is too obvious i believe eric true chill out chill out with this narrative but if we were to assume that elliot ludwig is indeed prototype and he's been doing all of this it would make sense for poppy Elliot's daughter to go one-on-one -on -one against him in the final one but I want to set the stage up for what happened in the ending and what's gonna happen in chapter 4 so we just heard Kissimmee dead who killed her we don't know we didn't hear prototypes I'm sure there will be youtubers who will go out of bounds to see what's up and we might find an answer over there we might not the fact of the matter is all the hurdles and our path to prototype has been dealt with. They're all dead. Huggy Wuggy, done for. Alright. Mommy Long Legs, done for. Smiling Critters and Catnip, done for. Dog Day, the saddest story in all of the Poppy Playtime universe. With that means, prototype is next, it has to be. Let's assume, right? Let's assume that the final confrontation with prototype is now divided into two chapters chapter 4 chapter 5 and then chapter 5 is really is the ending otherwise if they keep up the pace because the length of this was her like huge huge bro five hours it took me poppy playtime chapter one was like under it was like it's 15 to 20 minutes in total but it took me like 40 minutes to an hour chapter two was like an hour and it took me three hours to beat it chapter th three here it's it feels like two hours and a half maybe three maximum and it took me five hours bro it took me five hours maybe they're gonna keep chapter four short just so they can make chapter five uh, all five chapters because like i said all the threats have been dealt with overall we got more answers we got more questions but we got more answers uh narrative wise i'm satisfied i think this is the best chapter yet but i want to point out two things number one easily a lot of stuff could have been cut let's let's be honest all right i'm not gonna bs you this could have easily been like we can cut 40 minutes to an hour of stuff easily easily ladies and gentlemen we can cut a lot of that that's number one number two the huggy wuggy which it, <laughs> I, it the chase didn't even start it because the i died when the chase even started how does that even work bro talk to me how does that even work he was just coming out of the television just like Tall Man from Little Nightmares 2. But he was halfway through the monitor and he or I was like glued to the monitor and he killed me. There was supposed to be a chase there that we saw in the trailer. Which I can confirm by the way, it has been confirmed. <coughs> that there's only one chase like it. Huggy Wuggy does not... Oh here we go. Thank you for continuing to stand by us and all that you do. Uh, say to support this franchise we care for so much and see your videos, speculation, conversation, love that you give us, wherever the world you may be sending it from. You are ever a source of strength, energy, uh, it or her teaches us anything. I look forward, not back. Stay tuned, love always. Mob Entertainment. Shout out to Mob Entertainment, bro. Shout out to Mob Entertainment. Alright. That was deep sleep. Like I said, my negatives are pretty clear. Catnap, disappointing. Cadna was really disappointing. He doesn't even talk. The smiling critters were far more interesting than Catnap. Might as well, might, might, might I add, everybody other than Catnap was interesting. That's number one. Number two, the game is dark. And when I say dark, I don't mean, oh, there's blood, gore, and violent. I like that. Give me more of that. But when I say dark, if this game is dark, you can't see anything. A puzzle could be so easy, which it becomes easier once you understand the basics of them. You don't know where the things are because it's so dark. I had to tune. I had to tune my TV, my game, my computer so I could increase just the contrast and gamma. Actually, there are three positives of this game. Number one, that Huggy Wuggy Silent Hill. Oh yeah, bro. Please, more of that. More of that in chapter four or chapter five. Please, just increase that. I don't care about puzzles. I don't care about chase scenes. Just give me that. Psychological horror. That's what I'm here for. Which is why this becomes like but great because of the psychological horror then there was poppy explaining what happened right when there was a lag and everything when catnap punched us we lost our mask and we went into this hallucination chamber that was fantastic 
Then number three. I liked some portions of it. A lot of portions was just like there was go a lot of going back and forth, back and forth. Home sweet home was a headache. Home sweet home was a headache. I don't want to go there. School was easily the best portion of the game after what I mentioned. Miss Betty, it was so fire. I was dying left, right, and center, but yes, it was fun. It was fun, ladies and gentlemen. So Miss Betty, I know it's not her name, but I'm calling. I'm gonna call her Miss Betty. I I would love to. I would have loved her. I would have loved to see her more, but that's all we're gonna get from her. I think we wrapped up her story pretty well. The model was fantastic. Can we have more of that going forward? Okay. That's number three. Finally, the boss fight. It's really frustrating at the beginning, but once you understand that, it's just about grinding. Like just sit tight and grind. Eventually, you'll get it. Like I just mentioned, like. In the first three to four attempts, I was just not understanding what to do. I was removing the wrong battery for the fourth one. When it required the fourth battery, I was removing from the green one, which was the mistake. Once I did from the lights one, it didn't change anything. Just put the lights one. You need the green one till the end. And it just worked. Okay. So overall, there are positives. A lot more positives than negatives. I would say, please, next chapter, chop it off. Chop off the things that just drags the game down like I just mentioned more psychological elements and yeah sure whatever you want to do with puzzles puzzles were actually really fascinating and interesting and yeah boss fights great Miss Betty was fantastic I love the game all right this has been our worth of content put together we don't do parts anymore not for this game so I hope that you pr appreciate it again shout out to mob entertainment Trusting me with this. Goodbye.